Welcome to All Things Mac. I'm your host, Jim Fair. If you don't have a handy USB stick to use as a USB installer to downgrade your Mac OS, then you might use an existing hard drive. However, there are some risks, and uh, I just wanted to show you how to do that while minimizing the risk. So without further ado, here's the info. Okay, so here we have a drive called Big Seagate. And I want to add a small partition to this drive. If I look at this drive and I do a command I, I can see that it's a two terabyte drive and uh, there's plenty of space. No, there's only 2.83 gigs available, which is not very much. Ah. Actually, so this is probably not a good drive. So that's one thing you need to check before you decide to partition a drive is, hey, do I have enough free space? So for that drive, the answer was no, there's no free space. So let's try another drive here. Sometimes you have to disconnect and reconnect the drive. There we go. Back up November 2019, command I. Okay, we have lots of space available, 800 gigs available. So this is a good drive. So let's get into disk utility. So a uh, quick way to do that is to go to the Go menu, to the Utilities folder, or Shift-Command-U, and then double-click on Disk Utility. And here we are in Disk Utility. Zoom in a bit here so you can see what I'm doing. So here is our backup drive, which we don't want to erase accidentally. Um, now the question is, can we partition it safely? So if I click partition here, can I add a partition? Looks like I can. I hit the little plus sign and my untitled partition I just say hey look I just want 16 gigabytes at the tab key and I'm gonna call it my volume capital M Y V O L U M E and click apply now this is the point of no return here when I click apply we are committed to partitioning this drive into two volumes so what's going to happen, it's going to make the existing partition smaller, okay? So it's going to resize the original partition and create a new partition. Now, there is some risk here, but for, you know, most drives, I mean, how do you minimize this risk? Well, let's just stop for a moment. So before we do this, what we could do to minimize the risk is run first aid on the volume and make sure there's no problems before we try partitioning. So uh, let's do that. So you can see first aid is running. It's repairing the file system. <clears throat> Pardon me. I have something, something of a cold here. Operation successful. Okay, so let's try partition. Again, the plus sign and our new untitled partition. We only want 16 gigabytes. Hit the tab key. Give the volume the name My Volume because that's what we want from the Apple support article to erase and put our USB installer resources on. And voila, off it goes. So, um, we just have to be patient here and to wait because if something goes wrong in the middle of this then we've just kind of destroyed our volume which is not be good so it says operation was successful and now if we quit out of disk utility we can see yes we have my volume here and if we go command shift a see do we have um, Mojave installer here yeah we do so now we can do the terminal command to create the Mojave installer. And if you don't remember that, of course you don't remember it and you want to look it up. So we're going to go create uh, Mac OS 
Plus USB, bootable USB. There you go. Install USB. And there's the Apple support article. And we just scroll down to the Mojave command and then we click and drag down. Click and drag just to select the one line. Here we go. Edit, copy, or right click copy. Back to terminal. Paste in the command. Hit return. Put in our computer uh, admin password for this account. And it says we're ready to start. And away we go. So the advantage of doing this to an external hard drive is probably going to be more reliable than a little cheap USB stick that you got at the dollar store. <laughs> now it may take it a few minutes, so uh, I will probably just turn the camera off for that. Command Q. But you can see it's already making progress. We're already 10% done. And then when I'm finished, I can reboot. Now this machine is already running. Um, this happens to be running high Sierra, so I don't really need to downgrade to Mojave. It would be an upgrade. But I think you see the, the point here. So this is for all the users who have asked, uh, how do I do this uh, with an existing drive without losing my data? And uh, that's the answer. So as I say, there is some risk to repartitioning a drive. You can minimize it by running disk utility first, but um, you know, uh, it does seem to work most of the time. I haven't actually seen it fail. And there would be different types of failures and probably you could do some sort of data recovery if it did fail. So, uh, you know, all is not lost. With hard drives, you know, when you, when you lose something, you have a fairly good chance to get it back as long as the drive isn't physically broken or electrically dead. Uh, with solid state, it's a little more problematic because of the way solid state stores things. It's just like flash memory, right? Anyhow, uh, that's all I have to say. That's the quick tip for the day. Thanks for watching and fade out.